Hey everyone. You know, when I say Underground Railroad, you probably think Harriet Tubman. But what if I told you the first one went south? Hi everyone. Welcome to Virtual History 360. I'm Mr. Wade, and today I am in St. Augustine, first of all. And there's going to be so much. I'm going to have a few videos from my trip to St. Augustine today. I'm on a field trip with my school. It's going to be awesome, right? Right here, the spot that I'm in is Fort Mose. Fort Mose. Hopefully you've heard of it, but if not, let me tell you. This was the site of the first free black settlement in continental North America. And even better, it was founded in 1738. Exactly. Take a look around. I know it's not too much today. There's a museum back this way. And if you look behind me, it's actually really cool. If you get a chance, come here. It's $2 to get in. And there's so much hands-on that you can actually do and see that it's worth the trip. And then the grounds themselves are just well-maintained. It's, it's a great place to go. If you look back this way, you can see that we got the marshland you know, from the Matanzas River coming off here. It's really nice, okay? Now, a little history of Fort Mose itself. When George was founded in 1732, King Charles II, actually in 1693, let me back up, declared, because Spanish Florida, English colonies, not very friendly with each other, King Charles said, hey, any runaway slave that wants to come to Florida is welcome. Two requirements. I had to join the militia, I had to convert to Catholicism. What do you think they chose? Slavery? Or militia and Catholicism. Of course they came down this way. And by 1738, when they actually built their first real fortification here at the site of Fort Mose, it was there was about a hundred free blacks living here. Pretty good. But unfortunately they lived under constant threat of English attack, and they were attacked multiple times. And the people living here would then seek refuge just a couple miles down the road in St. Augustine. Well, 1763 rolls around. It's the end of the French and Indian War, and Florida is handed over from Spain to England. Cuba is given to Spain, so a lot of people leave the area and go to Cuba. If you have a Spanish heritage, that's what happened. Now, in 1783, Florida comes back to Spain, and eventually the United States in 1821. But Fort Mose been burned down a couple times, rebuilt, but in 1812, it's officially abandoned. But the history is still here. The archaeology is still here. It's worth taking a look into. History is all around. Now, if you like videos like this, go ahead and hit subscribe on my YouTube channel for Virtual History 360. Thank you.